Hey guys, I'm Ari Ray and welcome back to part two of the Sims 3 speed build for Modern Hideaway. Now, I told you guys that this was a long build and it was, and I actually ended up chopping out a bunch of, I know people said they prefer longer speed builds and this is still long. It's still 40 minutes long, don't get me wrong, but I still cut out a lot or this would have been over an hour or so long and your girl was not about to do that. I did not want to have to edit that video that long. It would have driven me insane. So so there, there's towards the end or like middle to the end of the video, you'll start noticing where I'll start decorating a room. Then I'm going to kind of fade cut to when the room is done, because in terms of decoration, it's just mostly placement. You're not really missing anything build wise in a sense, but you know, you get the gist of what the room looks like. It's just me placing stuff. Some of these rooms I fiddled with for so long that even sped up at like six times the speed that I was doing it. It was like huge chunks of time and they were i just i don't know i just i didn't want to i didn't want to edit a video that was like hours long it's it took me a while okay the decoration part is was longer than the building i'm telling you guys this, this part would have been over an hour long if i didn't chop parts of it out so i apologize but i just i didn't want to do that i didn't want to edit a video that long so i cut out the parts like that but i do hope you still enjoy the speed build because i mean it's still kind of the process you still get to get a glimpse of the house if you want to skip to the end and just see the pictures feel free because there are pictures at the end i just i really really could not put that my mind to wanting to edit everything as it was it was just so long you guys and i didn't want to do three videos so i do apologize for that fact that i cut out certain parts of the build but um if you saw how long the footage was you'd probably thank me i do hope you still enjoy it though
So there you go. I tried to do a different type of style with this house. I think it turned out okay. I still obviously need a whole lot more practice with just different types of styles of houses and stuff like that. But I did try to put some inspiration into the decoration. Uh, hey, I was rhyming there. I didn't mean to do that, but there you go. I tried to make the decoration of the house uh, kind of interesting to look at without using a lot of CC. In fact, I don't think I used much at all. I'm, I'm actually gonna risk this and not put any custom content down in the, the, the description because I don't think that there is anything that you necessarily need to have in the build. If something got replaced after you downloaded it and you want to know what it is, then let me know because I don't think I use that much custom content at all. I think I specifically, you know what? The rugs. The rugs are pretty interesting. You know what? I'm going to put the stuff in the bottom. I'm sorry. I'm thinking out loud to myself right now. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the links down there, at least to the stuff that I think, I think is custom content. I'm sorry. Sometimes it's hard for me to identify what is and is not custom content in my game, but the rugs, the rugs I know for a guaranteed fact are, and I, and I, and I think you, you should at least have the option to download those if you want them. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Sorry, forget what I just said. You ignore, ignore Mari. She doesn't know what she's talking about. But I do hope that you guys like this build in the long run. Like I said, I built it for uh, Lucas and Omar in the Adventure Sim Challenge because they need to move and they have a lot of money. They're like super rich. So this house is not even like a part of the money that they actually have in their bank. But I was like, sure, let's go with a more like kind of modernized uh, feel to it. But at the same time, it still tried to include a little bit of the weirdness from the challenge, you know, uh, the supernatural elements and stuff like that in there. So I'm trying to get a nice little mix of, of modernism and sort of weirdness, but feel free to change whatever you want in your build if you download the world. World and you are not world Jesus Christ if you download the lot and you want to change up stuff about it feel free to do so the link to download it will be in the description below along with the links to any custom content that I think I can identify just by watching the video back so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video then please give it a like or don't that is up to you but I do hope you'll come back and join me for more Sims 3 speed builds here on the channel thanks guys bye bye